Hello everyone, so today we'll be looking at uh, the new helmet that I recently purchased but also saying bye to my, you know, pretty loyal, good helmet that I've used for the last uh, three years, the Shui GT Air. Uh, it's been very good. I had a bit of the issues with uh, some numbness around for some time, but apart from that, it's been very good. You know, um, I love the color. Anyway, red's my favorite, so, you know, time to say this baby bye. And I've got here, the RFSR in uh, tangerine orange. So this will be my new helmet uh, going forward for the next uh, few months, I would say, or year <laughs> maybe. Yeah, you never know. And uh, let's look at it. So I got this one after doing a bit of search. I wore a few helmets, wanted to see I don't face the same issue that I had with my uh, Shui GD Air. And uh, you know, I wore it and it's very good. So let's start with, you know, let me show you how it looks. It looks beautiful. I love the color. Tangerine orange is the one, okay. It's uh, RFSR, so it comes from the, you know, the RF series. Uh, they say it has the same skull and, uh, you know, all the paddings. Um, I've worn the RF1200 as well, so I can definitely tell you there are some changes. You know, you, you, you pay for what you get, but they haven't compromised on the safety or anything of the helmet. So that is the best thing about it. And... Uh, a couple of things that are missing on this one from my, uh, you know, Shui GD Air that I'm retiring is um, I don't have basically the sun visor anymore. So this is a very basic helmet. If you're looking to, um, I would say, start into getting into Shui or a starting point helmet, uh, definitely, uh, you know, this is the price point where you will see. It's come for about $500. I think I paid about 550 Canadian dollars uh, for this helmet. Um, but like I said, uh, safety wise and comfort wise, it's very, very good. Uh, similar to that, so you're not compromising on the safety. What you're compromising on the little extra pieces that you get, you know, when you get any other helmet, like uh, no more sun visor in it, um, some black plastic parts instead of, you know, the colorful uh, ones that you get on the RF 1200 or, you know, uh, the 1400. So basically no more colorful vents, um, just the regular vents here. And then they have, you know, one went here down for breathing. Uh, apart from that, it's very good. Uh, let me just show it to you while wearing it. Um, I just need to... So I'm a size medium and uh, this is a size medium as well. So I went with my regular size that I wear. Didn't change uh, much from this to the other one. And I'm pretty comfortable wearing it. Uh, you can see it probably in the video as well. Uh, how good it is. I'll turn around and uh, yeah, that's what it is. So wiser down, wiser up, pretty comfortable enough padding for me to cover here. A lot of people say that uh, they feel when I'm wearing the helmet, uh, it's probably smaller to me or my cheeks are squeezing or you know, uh, sort of feels like bulging out. But uh, as far as I have worn the helmet, I feel pretty comfortable. I have gone up a size large, but large makes me feel as if, uh, you know, I, it's, it's a bit loose on my head. So wearing a medium, has definitely you know given me that snug feeling tight feeling uh while i'm wearing and uh definitely a great looking helmet but side by side i also wanted to show you so you get a better idea if you're looking to get another helmet of you know sort of what how the rfsr looks like which is here and this is the rf1200 i bought for my wife so as uh, many of you know, she started riding with me from time to time. So, you know, to make it, uh, it more comfortable for her, I decided to get a full face RF 1200 for her. 
this is a beautiful color and you won't believe I got it in a sale um, at our local famous, you know, GP bikes here. Uh, beautiful color. I love the racing scheme on this R1200, uh, you know, and uh, very, very nice. Like I said, so this is... This is the RF1200. You probably pay more for, like I said, the color scheme and everything. But I paid for this helmet, it was for about $1,200. I paid sale price about $550 Canadian dollars uh, for this helmet. But very good helmet. Love the color scheme. Beautiful, you know, lines, red, green, and white. Again, I, you know, surprisingly it was her helmet, but I chose the color because I just love the color. So, you know, she didn't have much of a say on it, what color she wanted or not. But just a quick comparison, like I said, so this is the RF1200. Uh, now you see more of the RF1400 that's out. And this is the RFSR. So anyone looking to um, sort of, I would say, you know, get a comparison on what it is. Like the, like I said, the ear, these are the vents, so a bit better mechanism here. These are like just a quick, but I don't feel that they have cheaped out on quality. Probably, you know, just the way it looks and uh, people have different preferences how their helmet should look like and that's where uh, they differ. But apart from that, both are great helmets regardless you're going for the RF1200, the RFSR or the new ones RF1400. Uh, you should be good if that's the, you know, Shoei is the brand that fits on your head. Because apart from being, you know, Shoei or I, or any other brands that you're going for, uh, the main thing that matters is what fits on your head right and you know where you feel comfortable. So you, no matter how much you like Chewy, if that doesn't fit on your head right, you know, you have some hot spots while wearing it or you know, have a little bit headache, then this is not the helmet for you. Definitely go for you know something else. Uh, try different helmets, wear them on your head, for you know, a few minutes, about 10, 15 minutes, walk around the store, and that is how you'll be able to know, you know, what it is. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos. Till next time, ride safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.